In this video, we will learn about basic features of Rivera Pro Waveform Viewer. This video assumes that you have compiled your design successfully. Now let's start simulation by selecting a top level from library. Once simulation has been initialized, switch to debug perspective. In debug perspective, Rivera Pro will lay out all the debugging windows for you. Now in hierarchy viewer you can see your entire hierarchy of your design. And select any instance and you will see all the objects related to that instance in object viewer window. Now select the instance, right click on it and select add to waveform recursively which will add all the signals of your hierarchy into the waveform. Now switch to documents perspective to see your waveform in a full screen mode. Now there are three pans in a waveform viewer. One, this one is object view pan, this is waveform viewer pan and this is cursor pan. Now in object view pan you can enable different columns by right clicking on it and selecting it. So in hierarchy column you can see your entire hierarchy from where that particular signal is coming. And you can use control and drag that name to left align or right align that entire column or you can just modify this entire object view pen by dragging that entire column and keeping it wherever you want to keep it. Now let's run simulation. Now you can use control key of your keyboard and mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out inside waveform viewer or you can use middle mouse stroke to zoom in on particular region. Select the region, release the middle mouse stroke and you will be zoomed in in that region. Now you can add multiple cursors inside the one waveform viewer. So just right click in the cursor view pan here and select add cursor which will add another cursor into it. Now you can add sub cursor to one main cursor to it. Right click in the cursor view pan to that particular main cursor and select add sub cursor which will add a sub cursor to that main cursor. Now you can use sub cursor effectively to measure difference of time between two events and sub cursor moves with the main cursor so you can effectively measure time difference between two events and you can right click on that and change the unit to frequency also. Now you can use find object button to find an object inside the object view pan. So let's say if you want to find a start signal, type down start and select find next and that next found sig signal will be highlighted inside the object view pan here. The same way if you want to find a value inside particular signal, let's say you want to find a value here in this signal select find value button here and then let's say we want to find a value 24 type down 24 and select find next your cursor will go to next found value and then you can use different browsing mode to browse inside a particular waveform let's say you want to see while you are uh, zoomed in inside your waveform and you want to see where's your next stage then keep your selected current cursor to that edge or wherever you want to keep it and from this different browsing modes you select the browse browsing mode you want to have it so let's select browse by rising edge here and now when you click on next it will go to the next rising edge your cursor will immediately go to the next rising edge as you can see here and then when you select again next it will go to the next rising edge and that va that values also you can see here uh, inside the value column here. Now you can select that to browse by events and you'll go to the next event in that particular signal. So there are different browsing modes in Rivera Pro Waveform Viewer which you can select. You can select browse by rising edge, events, browse by falling edge or browse by difference if you are comparing two different signals and if you want to go to the next difference you can select browse by differences. Thank you for watching this video.